Hello everyone. Today's episode is Sibrim Sushi and will feature Akira san's Honte Gaishi, the authentic nigiri technique. Hello everyone, this is Yuri and Akira des. I believe you remember from last episode that we were curing Madai sea bream with kombu seaweed. 12 hours has passed since then, so we will unfold it to see how it's doing. We don't want to leave it wrapped too long as kombu absorbs sea bream's water too much that the meat will harden. It can dry up and become like kimono. See here, kombu and sea bream pulling string. This stickiness is a sign that natural MSG has successfully moved from kombu to sea bream. Our kobujime is finally ready! Now let's slice our sea bream into sushineta size. If you are using se, the back side of the fillet, bring the chiai side towards you. Insert the knife diagonally to the fish, then bring your knife towards you. The idea is to pull. Also, make sure to insert from hamoto, heel of the knife, and not from the tip. Right before your knife touches the chopping board, tilt your knife perpendicularly, then pull it towards you. This technique is called kobagaeshi. It gives a nice and sharp cuddle, an edge like this. Lastly, trim off the part that's a little dark in color. And we're done! Now, nigiri time! Wet your hand with tezu, hand washing vinegar. Don't wet your hand too much as shari and fish becomes harder to stick with each other. First, hold fish with your left hand and take shari with your right hand. It's easier to make a small ball in advance. A ball should be about 12 to 13 grams in weight. While holding shari, use your forefinger to scoop wasabi, then put it onto the center of sea bream. Place shari on top, then gently press shari onto sea bream. Use your left thumb to press the side and bring the forefinger and middle finger on top of shari. Press lightly, then flip it around. Again, press the side with left thumb, press the top with right forefinger and middle finger. Open your hand and roll over to the tip of your hand. Bring it back to the center while shaping the side with your right thumb and forefinger. Press gently from the top and the side again. Rotate it around and press it from the top and the side for the one last time. This nigiri technique is called Honte Gaeshi. Brush nigiri joyu lightly and you have Madai no kobujime de gozaimasu. Now, Yubiki Sea Bream. We are using hara, the belly side, skin side down, and let's start slicing. Procedure is exactly the same as what we did just now. Except that we will use sudachi citrus for this. At the very end, put salt on your fingertip, then tap it onto the sea ring. Squeeze a hint of sudachi. Madai no yubiki de gozaimasu. Now last but not least, zuke. This is chiai here. Flip it around so that it's towards you. Slice it like we did for the first two, perhaps slightly thicker. We will marinate this raw sea bream in nikiri shoyu. Put them all on a small plate and pour nikiri shoyu on. Lightly soak it. What's important here is to marinate using your hand like this. This allows nikiri to blend in a short amount of time. When making sushi, as tsuke is much juicier compared to kobujime and yubiki sea bream, lightly wipe off the side that will touch shari. From here onwards, it's the same as previous two. Appearing in festivals and weddings, sea bream is an auspicious fish in Japan. Wild sea bream is in its peak season right now, so why not celebrate springtime with this amazing sushi? Madai no tsuke de gozaimasu! Enjoy! Cherry blossom season is just around the corner. Ne, Akira-san? Hai, I cannot wait. Tanoshimi da ne!